Hi, everybody. Right, what I was going to do was do, do a track, a jazz sort of track. Now, this jazz track. It's um, inspired by Jack, Jack Scannell, and because um, he's doing some beautiful jazz, you know. So I put on his vandalism page, I can't speak, what I wrote, what I typed in was, it reminds me of Sting and Courtney Pine when you had um, an Englishman in New York. So kind of sting after he was in the police, he went to New York. He did an album that was really, it was kind of like a jazz album. And Courtney Pine was on clarinet and maybe saxophone. She's a bit like Jack Scannell because he's like saxophone and flute. But I get the feeling he could play clarinet as clarinet as well at a push so so what i might do is just sing this i might because i used to play it on piano not <laughs> the piano behind me but i used to play it in c and b flat and something like b flat major seventh once it's got that in there it sort of automatically turns into a blues. In fact, I might play it on guitar, but it does sound better on the piano. But I've got to rig the piano up, so yeah. And I can't really do it because I've just got like adapters everywhere for electrical appliances in this room, so it's like everything's kind of to the max in here so I can't really otherwise I have to like get up again and start doing it but the track it sort of captures a little bit of New York and so it reminds me of the book Last Exit to Brooklyn and it reminds me of New York does jazz that's what I was writing on Jack's page you know it was like it was like It was like um, uh, right, so that's kind of like a bit of background to me. But what it is, I wrote this a song. I wrote it on a different keyboard. I wrote it on the Yamaha beginner's keyboard, which cost a hundred pounds, which is like two hundred dollars. But it was really great little keyboard, and that's where I first started to put some major seventh chords together on a piano and you can't go wrong with major seventh chords if you um, can pick up a particular style you know so so I'll just get my guitar and I'll play this for you I think I've put it up before but let me just see Ooh. Right, so it's like this, it's not like uh
There you are. There you are. One of the finest songs ever recorded in the history of mankind. So there you have it. That's your day will come. Which um, started off. Or maybe I wrote it on guitar first, you know. Um, and then I kind of did it on piano. Oh, it's the change. It's the, um, you know, like the verse and then the chorus is this, isn't it? I, I didn't kind of do it enough, really. Um, it's this. So many days, so many graves. And now that's that kind of New York jazz feeling, you know. So many days, so many grey. Please believe me when I say these words today. Oh, 
And uh, what it is, I mean, that's the song. I did, um, I did write it on the piano, I remember, because there's a kind of way of playing with uh, C major 7th and then to the D 7th. That occurs very kind of logically on the piano. And it's kind of um, C major 7th. D7, B7, A minor, B7, to E. And then the trick is to go C, D, trick there and then to change it to the C, B, E. And the only reason you change those chords around is to make it interesting for the listener. You know, you, you can repeat chords, but if you put slight inversions kind of higher up like sort of in the middle of the fretboard or if you're on the piano and you keep your hands together and you play a few chords then the second time around you just move a chord up a bit higher up or a bit lower down and it kind of changes the whole sway of the song but it makes it more interesting to the listener to think hey that is different what's going on and it keeps your mind alert so so that song was written on a Yamaha beginner's keyboard. And then once I'd written it, at some point I got around to transposing it onto the guitar. But it was okay on guitar, I mean, you might think it's great. But on the piano, it's got this other kind of life that's going to be even bigger, you know? And maybe what I might do in a few videos time is I might set that keyboard up on the back of there and play it and do it again because I've uploaded it before on here anyway that's it yeah I was going to tell you a bit more about the red violin but we'll leave that for now inspired by Jack Scannell this is by his jazz music because he sent me a, a link in Facebook saying you know, come and listen to our music, listen to it, and it's brilliant. So, so that's that. <laughs>